The great thing about blood flow restriction is it can be used in any phase of the rehabilitation. The end goal is to build strength, essentially. Um, however, there's so many other components that go into blood flow restriction in the sense that it actually helps stimulate healing of bone, helps stimulate healing of the tendons itself, too. Blood flow treatment can be used for almost any patient that we see, anyone in a young athlete, to the weekend warrior, to someone that just had surgery, to someone that's getting surgery, or even someone that just wants to be able to walk again without having pain in their knee. Blood flow restriction training is occluding the blood that's coming back from the muscle that's being exercised, and it's tricking that muscle into thinking that it's lifting heavy weights, when in reality it can be lifting either very lightweight or no weight at all. And so by doing three exercises with the blood flow restriction cuffs on the extremity, it can give you a big workout without actually loading it mechanically. The best example is someone who had a meniscus tear and they're not allowed to lift heavy when they're squatting. We can have them do body weight squats with the cuffs on and they'll feel like they got a major workout with it.